Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in today to episode three of my Luminar 4 tutorial series. This one is going to be all about looks, um, also formerly known as presets. So I'm going to talk about how you can create them, how you can use them, how I like to use them, how you can import them, how you can move them from previous versions, that sort of thing. So let's just go ahead and get started. Here's an image that I have, and if you want to access looks, it's right up here. You just click on looks, and you can see that there are a number of looks packs that are included in Luminar. If you click on that little box there where it says essentials, there are some packs here across the top that are included. And then I've got literally copious amounts of packs that have been made available to us uh, over the last few years by Skyloom uh, for free. And then I've got some of my own packs in here as well. And so to use a look, you just click on the pack and then you can come in here and all you do is you select a look. In this case, I'm gonna click that one and it sticks it on the photo. So here's a couple of things to be aware of. A look, also formerly known as a preset, and by the way, I'm probably gonna use those terms, uh, each of those terms uh, in this video. Looks is the new version, a uh, new term for it. Preset is the old version. I use them interchangeably, but I'm trying real hard. Um, so in a look, you click on it, and it effectively, as the name implies, it uh, applies a look to your photo, just as I did here. I clicked on it, and it dropped it uh, onto my photo. So a couple things I want you to be aware of. Over here, you can come in here and you can reduce the opacity or the amount, right? It's effectively a slider. Uh, if you go to zero, then none of that look is applied to your photo. At a hundred, all of it is. So if you like a look, but you don't love it, maybe you think it's too much, that's a perfect way to adjust it. You just take this opacity slider to the left to reduce it and uh, get it uh, looking the way you want it to look. There's also a star button here. So a star, and as you click on it, you can see it turns orange. That's basically a fave, so that you if you can uh, have a number of faves. And let me show you at the very bottom here, if I can grab this little thing, there's a favorites folder, which currently has nothing in it because I haven't faved any. So let me fave, oops, uh, I clicked that. Let me go back here to this one, and I'm gonna say boom and I'm gonna click Fave, and now I'm gonna go back to the Faves folder, and when I click on Favorite, there you go, it shows up there. So that's how that works, that's an easy way to pick different looks from different packs, keep them all organized in one group, which is a Favorites folder, and then you can quickly get to your favorite ones and apply them to your photos. Now, after you've applied a look to your photo, you will notice on the right-hand side that some of these different sliders uh, within the different uh, filters or uh, tools categories will be highlighted. The highlighted ones are the sliders that are used or the tools that are used for that preset. So light, AI enhance, and color are used. That's on this first tab. You'll notice none of these other tabs are in bold or bright. And so you click through, you can see that none of these uh, filters or tools have been used, right? As I click through them, they're all just grayed out, which means they haven't been used. So the only tools that have been used in this look are light, AI enhance, and color. So if you want to check on it, you just click on it, you can see what's done. Temperature and tint have been slightly adjusted in this one, highlights have been taken down, and shadows have been increased. Okay, good to know. Uh, the next thing, AI enhance, both AI accent and AI sky enhancer have been added to this look as well, and of course color with a little bit of saturation. Here's a thing I recommend doing, and that is one of the ways I initially, the first time I ever had Luminar back with the first version, one of the ways I really learned how to understand how the different filters looked uh, or worked was to just apply these presets or looks to a photo and then start messing with them. So yes, you can make adjustments to these looks once they're on your photo. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it doesn't fit your photo. Maybe it just needs a little bit of tweaking. So in this case, I might come back into light and say, you know, I want to take highlights down a little bit further and I actually want to go a little bit warmer because I like that sunset look better. And, you know, maybe I want to come over here to color and amp up the vibrance a little bit and I'm just kind of winging it here. Uh, and now that I've done that, maybe I want to go back to light and pull that warmth down a little bit and add some smart contrast and things like that. So the point is you can go in and customize these and I highly recommend that you do. That's a great way to learn how the filters impact your photos. And then guess what? You can come over here and you can say save new look. And this is how you build or create your own looks. So you just click save new look. 
and it'll come up as untitled and you can say look uh, maybe you know I'm gonna name it after this essentials I'm gonna say essentials update one just because it's filter number one in essentials category and it's the first update that I've done so I'm gonna say save and now that's gonna save in my user folder, which is down there by favorites. I've got uh, six here that I'm experimenting with, and I've got this essentials update number one. Here's a look that I'd created, and you can see, I'll just close that. It's got light, AI enhance, AI structure, landscape enhancer, and something from the pro category called adjustable gradient. So that's what comprises this look that I previously built, but if I wanted essentials update one on my photo, I just come over here and click on it, and it's applied automatically. Now here's a couple of other things to be aware of. The very bottom, there is a drop down menu under this Essentials Update 1 look that I just created. Um, I can fave it by the way, which will put it in my fave folder, folder as well as here in this um, user luminar looks uh, category. But this drop down menu, you can see you have export, so you can actually export that look, set it on your desktop, send it an email to your buddies, whatever it is. You can show in Finder, you can rename it. Um, let's say I don't like Essentials Update 1. Maybe I've changed it and now it's Essentials Update 1A. Maybe it's slightly different than Essentials 1. I can rename that there. I'm not gonna do that in this case. And also, you can update with current settings um, or delete, I'm not gonna delete it, but you can update with current settings. And what that means is, let's say I've applied this, uh, this look, I almost said preset, applied this look to the photo, but I think, you know, I, I just kind of want to make a little bit of a tweak. So I want to come in here and do whatever. I can make those tweaks. Let's say I go into Landscape Enhancer and add some golden hour to really pop that. Wow, I like that look. That's really cool, Jim. So I took Essentials Update 1. Now I can come in here and say, well, I'm going to save it that way. So I'm going to update it with current settings. And when you do that, you'll get this notification that says, hey, you're about to overwrite this look. Are you sure you want to do it? And I'm going to say, yeah, I do. And now Essentials Update 1 includes that uh, golden hour adjustment that I made to it. Now here's another thing you might want to do. You could come in here and rename this. Maybe you want to recall that as the one that has golden hour. So I'm going to stick GH on that. And I'm going to hit rename. There we go. Um, so now it says GH. But I might come back over here and I might come back and reduce this golden hour back to zero. And now I've got that look and I want to save a new look. And so this can be Essentials, if I could type, Essentials Update 1. And that's going to be without the golden hour. And I'm going to hit Save and it saves it right here. So now I have both. I have it Essentials Update 1 and Essentials Update 1 GH. The difference being the golden hour on the GH. Okay, so here I am back in the main menu and a couple other things to talk about with looks. The first one is if you go to File, you can say Add Luminar Looks Collection. Let's say you purchase a looks pack from a photographer and you download it to your desktop. You would just click that and you can just, it'll uh, if you have the file on your desktop, you can just select it and click Open and it will drop it uh, into Luminar 4 and it will show up as a looks pack here in, uh, let me click on this, it'll show up here as a looks pack. Now you can also just drag that looks pack from your desktop on top of the Luminar, Luminar 4 icon and it'll install that way as well. Another thing you can do is let's say you have Luminar looks from a previous version of Luminar. Let's say you have them in Luminar Flex and you want to move them over here to Luminar 4. If you go to File and Show Luminar Looks Folder, it's going to open up a folder. Now it's defaulting to Custom and Custom has those six that I'd pre-built plus the Essentials well, I typed IP date instead of update, but you know what I'm talking about. Essentials Update 1 and Essentials Update 1 GH with the golden hour. Uh, it has that. It also has all my other looks packs that I've installed here in Luminar 4. But if you scroll over a little further, and to be clear, I'm on a Mac. I think that's probably obvious. Uh, but at least on a Mac, you can come over here and say, okay, well, there's a, uh, a looks pack that I have in Luminar Flex and it's called Magic Hour 2, and it's got some cool looking stuff, and I wanna get that over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag it, and then I'm gonna go back over here as I head back to this menu, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, and there's Luminar 4, and then I'm gonna go over to Looks folder, and I'm gonna drop it in there. So if I click on Looks in Luminar 4, you'll see I have Magic Hour 2 now added. 
So let's go check that out. Looks, and I'm gonna go click up here, and let, there's Magic Hour right there. So that has now been added, and so that is a way to move looks packs from previous version of uh, Luminar 2018 Flex, whatever, over to Luminar 4. Okay, my friends, I think that about covers it for looks. We talked about importing, we talked about creating and duplicating, uh, we talked about moving them over from previous versions, and we also talked about um, making updates to existing looks to further refine the look on your photo, as well as opacity and the other various commands that you have in your user and favorite files. So I hope that gives you a good overview of looks. I do appreciate you watching this episode three of my Luminar 4 tutorial, and you know I'm gonna be back really soon with more. So please do share, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what other thoughts you have. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll see you soon, my friends, with episode four coming real soon. Have a great day. Take care. Thanks for watching, and adios.